Okay, we are here in Canada, riding through some heavy, thick fog, with visibility being probably less than a quarter mile. As four of us, Tony Reno, Dave, me, and Cake, Cake and Ride Tail Gunner. But this video today is about riding in low visibility. What are some of the things you can do to make yourself safer riding in low visibility? And that includes rain and even in the dark. Watch out for animals. We won't see no bear, we okay. <laughs> first thing first, have the appropriate amount of lighting so you can be seen. You know, there's this thing called seeing and be seen. Of course, the most important thing is things that you can see. So where we're riding now, we're going at a pretty slow rate that we normally ride and we're letting vehicles pass us. It doesn't matter because they are on four on the floor. We're riding on two wheels of an animal jump out with a little visibility that we are in tough bleep. So in this video, we're gonna give you a few hints or a few pointers on what you should be doing and riding in low visibility. But the very, very first thing is, if you can, just don't do it. Stay home. But because we are on our vacation, headed to Alaska, and we just check out our room, as you can see the visibility. Hope the camera is picking it up, but I'm looking at Dave, and I can see Tony, but I can barely see anything in front of Tony, so they are riding at an appropriate speed right now. So you never want to ride farther than you can see. And obviously, obviously on motorcycles, we really love speed. And there's a thing called outriding your lights, which obviously at night, you can't outride your sunbeam, your sunbeam, your light beams or your high or low beams because you come around a corner, then all of a sudden it may not be animals sticking out. What if there's a pothole? Same goes for any low visibility riding, which we are doing now riding in the fog. Second thing is you want to be have as much visibility as possible. A lot of people say, well, gold wing riders always wear high visibility, blah, blah, blah. There's nothing proven that it works, but it's not proven that it doesn't work because if we're not crashing, maybe the high visibility jackets and glow in the dark pants and helmets that we hear, maybe it is working. So there's no proof one way or the other. So put on your high vis and low visibility situations. Now, one of the best things I've seen, which Cake and I are talking about purchasing, is what Dave had on the back of his helmet. Now, Cake and I purchased one in 2017 and never really put it on the helmet. It wasn't that particular style. It was complicated to hook up to our bike, so we never really done it. And yeah, we paid a lot of money for it. But Dave had the Hellman light. Obviously, they come in some pre-built in the Hellman. We have one that you can switch from Hellman to Hellman. And while we were riding on this trip, not even paying attention, when he slowed down, slow down, Dave. Look how that Hellman light up. It's a head-up display. So people behind them in cars, their head up, they will see that. There it is again. I don't know if parent can be done. Hey, Dave, I'm coming a little bit close to you on your left, so stay to the right. So I'm going to have you do it one more time. Just enough for the camera to pick it up. Go ahead. There you go. All right, you can get back in front. See how it's lighting up? Those type of things help you even from the rear when the vehicle is coming up real behind you in low visibility. And if they're not paying attention, they don't have to stare at it. It is at their eye level to where they can see it. So we love those and we plan on getting four of them. And once we get them, we'll tell you why we got four. <laughs> they figure if it's just Cake and I, why we need four? Oh, there you go, cause Tony just said, cause he want one. So these are some of the things that we consider. Now, one of the most important things is drivers seeing you. Obviously you want to see drivers, you want to see the roadway, you want to see everything, but people are seeing you. And there's a term going, go, that goes right as if you are invisible. In other words, your, hold on, I gotta wipe my lens off. You should be on your P's and Q's and not worrying about what the other driver doing. So just pretend you are invisible and he don't see you and that way you are not relying solely on your clothing and your light. So the best thing for you to do is make sure your brain is sharp and you're doing everything as if you was a new rider. 
You know how it was when you first got your license. You're looking at it every day. Oh, it's a good hole. Oh, a little sand. Oh, grass clipping. Oh, that car was too close. Yes, that's what you should be doing in low visibility also. Now, to make this video relatively short, I'm not going to shorten because it's very important, but relatively short, make sure you put some comments to help our riders, especially new riders, or help out anyone who's not used to riding at night or at low visibility, in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. What are you doing? I can go on and on and on again because everybody who knows me know I really, really love to talk. And this will be a 12-hour video that you will be listening to right now. Anyway, that's all I have for right now for low visibility. I can go on and on, but I want that dialogue between uh, us. So if you got anything, like I said before, add it in there. If you like videos like this or this type of videos, make sure, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing if you don't mind. It don't cost you a single cent to subscribe and you'll be notified when we put out any videos on Boost and Jeans Riders. Well, right now we are riding with Tony Reno, Two Wheel for Fun, Coventure Dave from Fillmore, and of course, Cake Boost and Jeans Rider got the back, loading up the back. That's all I have for now, but if y'all riding, remember, ride long, Ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. For Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich, kick behind me, and I'm out. Peace.